Greetings, and welcome to Kate's Holistic Healing. I'm very happy to have with me Jeffrey Rhodes. Thanks welcome. for having me here. Jeffrey has been on the show a number of times. He's a hypnotist. He's actually my hypnotist, and he's, he's a... He's, the people on the show that you should know are very well vetted, and of all the doctors, all the hypnotists in New York, Jeffrey is the number one doctor prescribed hypnotist. So he has excellent credentials. And the topic today is on weight loss. Mm -hmm. So first I want to ask you, Jeffrey, um, why would someone come and see you? Okay, well, they're overweight and they're not taking care of themselves. They might be lacking self-esteem, they're lacking the drive, lacking the motivation. And what I do is I help them to change their attitudes and beliefs about themselves, about food, about processed foods, about exercise. So they're not eating for emotional reasons, they're getting fuller on smaller portions, they're not craving processed foods, and they're motivated to be exercising. Mm -hmm. So I give them a good jump start, a good boost, a good motivation. Yeah, okay. When they've lost weight, they can keep it off? Sure, well, if they're complying with the suggestions, I'm laying mm -hmm. out for them. You know, before my client comes in, I'm sending them some confidential questionnaires. There's a weight reduction questionnaire, a weight loss readiness test, mm -hmm. which gauges their motivation. And I'll go over that intake with them and I'll learn about their lifestyle and coach them. I'm very keen on knowing about sleep, mm -hmm. okay, exercise, what they're eating for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Are they eating fast? Are they eating slow? So are you, they, you know, you're interested in the entire health of the person? Everything. It's not, it's not just the basics, burn more calories than you take in. Right. It's eating healthy and eating slowly and honoring the body. And uh, you know, we're in a country, unfortunately, with 10,000 commercials a year for food products and processed foods that are hypnotizing the masses to do things we would never do intuitively. Mm -hmm. And all that marketing, if it's successful, just destroys instinct and intuition from humans. So we're like walking customers. And then people may become overweight or develop a chronic disease and they're still looking to the marketplace for what to do. And then you have the whole diet industry in terms like diet this and low cow and low carb right. and low fat, uh, which are just silly marketing concepts sucking people to be more customers. And then they might get sick and develop a chronic disease and now they're looking to take a pharmaceutical. So there's not much it we can, can do about that right. environment. Yes. Okay, I might act as an activist politically in doing that, but I'm going to empower somebody to take control of them of their life. Do you recommend specific diets to go with when you have a treatment? I, I keep it simple. I just recommend for the most part staying away from processed foods. And to know that you know humans have thrived for two and a half million years of evolution. As hunter-gatherers we mm. ate fruits and vegetables and seeds and nuts and well we'd eat meat that was wild game right. okay and fish which was pure and plentiful. Um, most cultures only became agricultural 10 to 13,000 years ago. And we started domesticating animals mm -hmm. in a better way than we do today. We introduced beans to our diet, which are fine. We also introduced grains to our diet, which are not necessary. And then if you have processed grains that are asking for trouble because that's high glycemic, that starch is you know, converted to sugar, it's stored as fat. Uh, dairy. So it, has, it has no redeeming value? You could eat that. Um, it's more calories, it gives you more energy. Uh, you, but the processed foods you want to stay away from. If you have no challenges digesting dairy, mm -hmm. which most of the world does, you know, if you're not lactose intolerant, then the right dairy, let's say grass-fed or raw would be a good thing. Mm -hmm. uh, sugar's only been eaten as an additive for about 140 years. So the new things we don't need. We thrive by eating real food mm -hmm. and, and eating slowly and exercising daily and drinking plenty of water and getting lots of sleep. They all sound so practical and if we do them, life is just, it's so smooth. Well, I would like, um, if you're at home and you're interested in weight loss, um, we're very lucky today because a client of Jeffrey is joining us and he can tell us his story of his experience and then he's going to, Jeffrey's gonna put him into a brief hypnotic trance and, um, and you can follow along at home if you would also like to lose weight. So I'd like to introduce Jim Tierney, please. Welcome very much to our show and thank you for coming in today. Well, Jim was referred to me by a client I've helped previously, years ago actually. And Jim came in a couple months ago mm -hmm. and a lot more overweight than he is today. Uh, he was not eating well. He was not exercising regularly. His sleep was really disturbed, both quantity and quality. He wasn't taking care of himself. Yeah. So he came in and we briefly went over the intake form, so I learned all about everything about his life. 
and we understood what the priority should be. Okay, so I noticed he was going to bed very, very late, mm -hmm. and uh, he wasn't sleeping the whole night through. He was disturbed, so just that alone was just it's interfering with his sleep. It was interfering with with, uh, with weight loss because when you're not getting enough sleep, your metabolism slows down, your appetite increases, and the body goes into an emergency mode conserving energy. And like a drained battery, you're more inclined to reach for starches later right. on. So by just by getting a good seven and a half hours sleep, mm -hmm. then the body starts working for you instead of against you. Then you also feel better, so you're more motivated to exercise. Mm -hmm. And when you're exercising, you're healing and recovering better, so you're not associating as much pain with exercise. And uh, it makes it easier for you as a foundation to then eat healthier. Mm -hmm. Of course, um, we had to make a lot of modifications because he was eating too much processed foods and uh, he was not moving enough and uh, he has done that. We did that one session, which is an hour and 45 minutes. After the session, I sent him some supportive affirmations for a slender body that he would be using as a supplement to our session. I sent him a few self-hypnosis audios that I asked him to listen to regularly, okay. which gets support. And uh, I've sent him some of my published articles on health and some weight loss articles. So besides having the inspiration to make changes, there was the education there. Mm -hmm. And you had the backup. That's very, that's mm -hmm. wonderful for people because it's not just, you don't go to see someone and look at their credentials, but if you have the credentials and you also give them something to take away with, mm -hmm. you know, it's going to be, hopefully get them that much more motivated. Mm -hmm. And so after that uh, first session, uh, he came in a few weeks later mm -hmm. where we do our second session, which is a, a one hour reinforcement. So he's going to tell me a story, he's going to let me know about his progress, all the things that he's done well and what areas where he needs more improvement. Mm -hmm. And in that hypnosis session, I'm going to reinforce things, push him even harder. And, uh, and I only see him twice, and, uh, and then he could tell us the story mm -hmm. right now. Okay. So Jim, how did, you, how did you meet Jeffrey? Uh, he, uh, his previous client mm -hmm. of his uh, recommended, okay. recommended him because I, had, um, I hadn't been able to at least for the last five years, I hadn't been able to really get that jump start that Jeffrey is talking about. Mm -hmm. And um, so he told me to go and try this, and I did. So I, you know. And, and can I ask what happened? Well, the first thing is, I think I, I was, at, you know, I went into the session, and, you know, I was put, we talked about all the stuff that Jeffrey was telling us about, and then I was hypnotized. And the very next day, I noticed that um, I instantly started to just crave the things that he, we were, I was listening to in the in the hypnosis session, which was vegetables and all that stuff, and and I and I thought that was kind of amazing because it felt like for the longest time, whenever I was trying to eat the right foods, it felt like I couldn't focus on it. And but for some reason, after seeing Jeffrey, it, it kind of felt like that was a very easy thing to focus on, and I and I felt like that was really um, that's that was a, a good jump start for me. It's fabulous. Um, but also, I I think the the um, the materials that were sent to me and also the affirmations. I can't really speak enough about the affirmations. Um, what I, because what Jeffrey said is just look at these affirmations, see which ones really register with mm -hmm. you, and then start, you know, saying them to yourself. Yeah. And you, I kind of felt silly saying them to myself out loud. What I started to do is I started to memorize one or two lines mm -hmm. every other day on my rowing machine. And while probably about two weeks into it, I had like a monologue that I had memorized. And I basically kept saying them to myself every day. And that's what I think really kept me, you know, going further and further. Right. And then I started seeing results and then you get addicted to doing it. That's fantastic. Yeah. And, and Jeffrey, you mentioned affirmations. Could you explain to our audience what positive affirmations are? Those are just things you could say as a, as a mantra to empower yourself. Things like, nothing tastes as good as fit and healthy feels. Uh, that's key. Yes. You know, you, and you can say these things to yourself when you first come out of sleep in the morning, mm -hmm. and also just before you go to sleep at night. It's very, you know, we're in a very, uh, let's say, subconscious state there, and you want to program yourself as much as possible. That's something that talented people, successful people, mm -hmm. leaders, intuitively do all the time. They're always programming themselves with positive affirmations and positive self-talk and mentally rehearsing positive outcomes and visualizing right. them all the time. And you want to do that, certainly with weight loss. Mm. You, you want to imagine yourself as being thinner and thinner. Mm. And also, uh, to ask the right question, because frequently when someone wants to eat, they're asking the question, whether they're conscious of it, is, well, what's going to fill me up right now? Okay, what's going to stuff me up? As opposed to what's going to cleanse me, what's going to nourish me, what's going to heal me? Mm -hmm. And if you ask the right question, and the behavior is going to follow, that's going to support that. And I, that's one of the shifts I get from my clients. Yeah.
you said you woke up the next day and you just craved more healthy food. Yeah, I started to just do exactly what I mean. We didn't outline a specific diet plan, but you, right. but I kind of knew I, for over the years I've known what to stay away from and yeah. what not to. <laughs> And so I started to, another thing I started to do is I sort of made peace with cooking because I hated cooking all this time. Right. And then I said, if I'm going to, you know, prepare my own food, I'm going to have to find a way to enjoy this. And I started to do that. And I was like, this is ridiculously easy. And I wasn't compromising any flavors because, you know, once you yeah. get rid of the processed foods, I feel like the, um, you f your, t your palate adjusts to the things that you start you know taking more in mm -hmm. and and then after that I didn't feel like it was that hard anymore I just it kind of just felt like a routine mm -hmm. well since I've worked with Jim twice previously mm -hmm. he's a pretty good hypnotic subject now and this is a short show I'm going to do a brief hypnotic induction mm -hmm. all right Jim when you get yourself as comfortable as possible and with your eyes closed just take a nice deep breath in allow yourself to unwind and just think about relaxing every muscle in your body from the top of your head to the tips of your toes, just begin to really relax. Notice your breathing, notice the rhythm of your breathing, and relax your breathing for a moment. You could be aware of normal sounds around you. These sounds are unimportant. Whatever you hear from now on will really help to relax you. As you sit there with your eyes closed and begin to drift into trance, in your own time, in your own way. And you could allow that letting go to occur because your conscious mind could do anything it wishes while your unconscious mind continues to hear and to understand those things they'll say. You'll have you more motivated to honor your body's needs for daily exercise, healthy eating, slower eating, and a little less eating. If you continue to release the excess weight and maintain that weight loss for life, now as you relax a little more, you can begin to remember the experience of trance, and you could re-experience those changes in thought and feeling and sensation as you drift down to that trance even more comfortably and effortlessly than before. That's right, relaxing, drifting down, allowing thoughts to drift, images to appear, and not need to do anything at all. Not even to wonder how motivated you could become to always eat healthfully, slowly, less, and exercise more. Now become so deeply relaxed, so deeply relaxed, to allow yourself now to enter an even deeper level of hypnosis so you may benefit greatly from all the helpful suggestions you're going to hear. In a moment, going to count from 10 down to 1. With every number I count, you'll find yourself drifting and floating a little deeper and deeper. So by the time I reach the number 1, you'll be at your deepest level and yet awake. 10, deeper. 9, 8, Seven, six, five, four. Three, two, and one. Deeper, deeper, deeper relaxed. Just bathing relaxation. Anytime I touch you on your shoulder, you'll go twice as deep and deeper. and deeper all the way down. You now become so deeply relaxed, so deeply relaxed that your mind has become so sensitive, so receptive to what I say. 
everything that I put into your subconscious mind for your own good, for your own benefit, will sink so deeply into the subconscious part of your mind and will make so deep and lasting impression there that nothing will erase it. In this condition, your subconscious mind is now at the forefront. It's now readily accessible to my suggestions to you. And consequently, these suggestions that I put into your subconscious mind will begin to exercise a greater and greater influence over the way you think, over the way you eat, over the way you drink, over the way you sleep, over the way you exercise. And because these suggestions will remain firmly embedded in the subconscious part of your mind after you've left here, when you're no longer with me, they'll continue to exercise that same great influence over your thoughts, eating, drinking, sleeping, exercising, just as strongly, just as surely, just as powerfully when you're back home or anywhere as when you're actually with me in this room. As a result of your decision to be exercising even more, you're going to feel physically stronger and fitter in every way. As you continue to practice optimal sleep hygiene and get the sleep you need, you wake up feeling more alert, more wide awake, more energetic. You'll become much less easily tired, much less easily fatigued, much less easily discouraged. And every day you'll become so deeply interested in honoring your body that your mind will remain completely distracted away from processed foods so they're simply not consumed. Every day with more exercise and sufficient sleep, your nerves will become stronger and steadier, your mind calmer and clearer, more composed, more placid, more tranquil. You'll become much less easily worried, much less easily agitated, much less fearful and apprehensive, and much less easily upset. As you get the sleep and exercise you need and stay free of sugar, you'll be able to think more clearly. You'll be able to concentrate more easily. You'll be able to give your whole undivided attention to honoring your body. Consequently, you'll be releasing excess weight and your memory will improve and you'll be able to see things in their true perspective without magnifying them, without ever allowing them to get out of proportion. Every day with sufficient sleep and daily exercise, you'll become emotionally much calmer, much more settled, much less easily disturbed. Every day you become and you remain more and more completely relaxed and less tense each day. So you'll develop much more confidence in yourself, more confidence in your ability to do not only what you have to do each day, like exercise and eat healthfully and slowly, and drink plenty of water, and use some affirmations for a slender body, but more confidence in your ability to do whatever you ought to be able to do without fear of failure, without fear of consequences, without unnecessary anxiety, without uneasiness, and of course without overeating or eating unhealthily. Because as you're going to feel more and more independent, you're able to stick up for yourself, to stand up on your own, to hold your own no matter how difficult or challenging things may be without overeating. Every day you'll feel a greater feeling of personal well-being, a greater feeling of personal safety and security than you felt in a long time. As a result, you're going to feel much healthier, much happier, much more contented, much more optimistic in every way and you'll consequently become much more able to rely upon and depend upon yourself and your own efforts, your own judgments, your own opinions. You'll feel much less need to have to rely upon or to depend upon other people because you feel a need for more improvement in your body, in your mind, in your emotions. And you're ready to accept life's continuing process of change, maintaining healthier patterns and welcoming positivity in all levels of your life. So knowing that you're going to be exercising daily, exercising more vigorously, eating healthfully, eating slowly, eating a bit less, drinking a bit more water, and getting the sleep you need. Just picture yourself the way you want to look. Just visualize yourself. Picture yourself the way your face will look. Picture yourself the way your arms will look. Picture yourself the way your stomach will look. And now picture yourself the way your legs will look. As you picture yourself the way you want to look, that's the way you're going to be. You're very motivated to release excess weight. Very motivated to release excess weight. Very motivated. And you have a strong willpower and a tremendous amount of self-control. 
and you're a very, very selective eater and very much of it to exercise. You're a very, very selective eater and very much of it to move more. You're a very, very selective eater and very much of it to burn more calories. And you're going to enjoy eating more raw vegetables, rich in vitamins and minerals and fiber and enzymes and phytochemicals and antioxidants and water. And you'll get more energy. No simple sugars, no processed foods. Your body needs very small portions of food to sustain itself. That's right, your body needs very small portions of food to sustain itself. You have absolutely no desire for any type of junk food or processed food or sweet. Absolutely no desire. If you eat any kind of junk food, you're going to feel very sick and very nauseous. Any kind of junk food, you'll feel very sick and very nauseous. And the less you eat, the happier you are. The less you eat, the more motivated you are to continue losing weight. The less you eat, the healthier you're going to be, the better you look and you like to look good. The more water you have, the happier you are. The more water you consume, the more motivated you are to continue losing weight. The more water you have, the healthier you're going to be and the better you look and you like to look good. And of course, the more you exercise, the happier you are. The more you exercise, the more motivated you are to continue losing weight. The more you exercise, the healthier you're going to be and the better you look and you like to look good. And you can keep on processing all those suggestions, feeling like massive weight loss success will continue as you become more and more reliant on yourself to release the excess weight and maintain that weight loss for a lifetime. And yes, I'm acting as a catalyst again, but congratulations for making your life work much better. You're going to feel the effect of this session to create some powerful results in your life because you have the ability for your subconscious to act powerfully on its own to cause you to have this kind of success. And it feels good to imagine that kind of weight loss success. Your subconscious now continues the process of motivation and support, and you feel real good about that. And all these suggestions have been placed in your subconscious where they'll do the most good for you permanently. So you can be thrilled and surprised. All the great chains you could have as you continue to honor your body. And all the benefits you receive in this session are now available to you in the future. The time that we spent together today, you've experienced an incredible amount of unconscious resources all joined together to give you what it is you really want. And you can acknowledge to yourself that your subconscious is so capable of doing just that. And so before you allow yourself to drift up completely into a conscious, wakeful alertness, it may be useful for you to utilize the opportunity now to think about what you've experienced. The thoughts, images, understandings, and commitments and how you might use these things later on from one day to the next. Because you have a conscious mind and an unconscious mind. Those two minds have learned from your experiences here today. Some more things you could utilize to release the excess weight and maintain that weight loss. And so before you drift up into conscious awareness, normal wakeful awareness, it is your privilege to use this comfortable self-awareness to become more aware of those things you can use later on those learnings and coping abilities and relaxation skills and discipline and motivation you may have overlooked before to give you an even better view or even better way of thinking, eating, sleeping, exercising, and doing things. That's right, take some time now, a brief time that seems to be a long time, to review and plan at some level of awareness those things you will do later on, like daily exercise and daily affirmations. Those things you will change later on, like any processed foods into whole foods, any sweets into fruits, any negative thinking into positive thinking, any doubt into trust, any insecurity into security, as you begin to use more and more of you. And in just a moment, we're going to conclude this session. I'll be counting from one to five. Each time I say a number, you can emerge a little more. By the time I reach number five and not before, your eyes open very easily, and you'll be back in a wide awake, fully alert state. You'll feel wonderful when you open your eyes. You'll feel better mentally, physically, and emotionally, and feel as though you've just awakened from several hours of deep, restful sleep. Each time you're hypnotized, you move into a much deeper, more comfortable state of hypnosis, much more easily. This way you'll continue to experience more benefits from hypnosis. One, you're beginning to emerge a little. Two, when it's number five, your eyes open easily. Three, each of these suggestions I've given you during the session and the previous sessions have been accepted and stored in the deepest levels of your mind, and they'll continue to have an increasingly beneficial effect each day in a progressive cycle that grows stronger and stronger and stronger, especially as you exercise daily. Use those affirmations. Listen to yourself self-hypnosis audios. Drink that water you need. 
and you grow stronger and leaner, thinner, healthier and happier. And four, you're feeling rested and refreshed, your mind's alert, you feel a new sense of strength and vitality flowing through every fiber of your being. And five, you can open your eyes, coming back to a full conscious awareness. Welcome back, Jim. Wasn't that wonderful? Yeah, that's great. Very good. How do you feel? I feel very relaxed. Well, this was briefer. Right. Um, because uh, one, I already know him. Mm -hmm. He becomes a better trans subject, just like when you're doing yoga for your third time, it's going to be better than when you do yoga for your first time. You know, since we never did our third session, and this actually would be our third session, um, one of the questions I ask is, what do you think you're always going to do now, and what do you feel you're never going to do? And, and, and not about things that you think you're always going to do, or things you're, you might not never do, but what do you really feel at this point? At the very least, you're always going to do this, and you're just going to not do that anymore. What, what would you say? I would say I'm always going to wind up doing affirmations with exercise, because a, it makes it go by quicker. Okay. And it's also, it gives me a process to sort of, um, it's almost like when I'm exercising, I have to actually remember. So it takes your mind off the exercising kind of in a way. Okay. Yeah. So I just found this very helpful. What will I never do? I will never, I think I'll never be able to get into that mindlessness um, of, of processed foods and what it did to me. Okay. Because I'm so, now I'm so aware of the difference of what the two different types of foods do. Mm -hmm. So... I okay. can't pretend to be ignorant anymore. Okay, that's right. You can't pretend it's okay to just yeah, yeah, yeah. poison yourself with those things. That's why food could be, you know, could be poison mm -hmm. or it could be medicine. You know, uh, anything else? Say, how about sleep? Do you feel like your sleep's always going to be a priority? Mm -hmm. you no, know, I, I need to get sleep. I did have problems in the beginning because of the excess weight, but I have, and plus the exercise, I have been able to sleep deeper and through the night now, which was, um, which wasn't the case when I went to Jeffrey. So. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you all again, and we'll see you in two weeks on Kate's Holistic Healing.